Hi, I'm Shane Vandevoort, Platinum CSIP, Copa University instructor and ANPIA. Today we're going to talk about risk management for post-maintenance flights. When picking up an aircraft after maintenance, we want to use our risk management tools that we're already familiar with. We want to use a PAVE checklist. We want to think about the pilot. Am I current? Am I ready? The aircraft, which we'll get to in a moment, the environment, um, and the external pressures. Uh, pressures can build up when an airplane's been in for maintenance. We want to make sure we've considered the environment and those external pressures. Hopefully, we've reduced those external pressures by arriving early in the day with lots of alternatives available if the airplane isn't ready as we hope. Back to the A and pay of the aircraft is the biggest variable that we have. We have a couple of SR-22s here to help with our discussion, um, but uh, when pre-flighting an airplane that's been worked on, knowledge is power. So you've already paid the bill, hopefully, and uh, looking at the work order and the maintenance records, hopefully you can get a better handle on what work was done so you know what areas to pay particular attention to. We're gonna work around uh, a couple of SR-22s here, um, not a complete uh, checklist. We find that in the in the manufacturer's checklist, but we're going to follow that order and look at some key points you might want to consider if your airplane has been recently worked on. Starting inside the cockpit, um, it's a great chance to confirm that your aero documents are on board, nothing's been moved, and that all your personal equipment is back in the airplane. Uh, then remember, um, if the airplane's been down for a while, no one has updated databases. So if you're departing IFR, you may want to take the time to update your aircraft databases. Uh, beware of software upgrades, especially on prospective aircraft. Um, they uh, may have changed things. There may be quirks to be familiar with, but be sure to inventory and make sure that everything displayed is as you expected it and complete. Uh, remember, Circuit breakers may have been pulled during maintenance. Check your circuit breakers well, and then check both batteries. This is a great time to make sure that uh, both batteries are producing power and powering what they're supposed to as per the checklist. Anytime the cowling has been removed for maintenance, you wanna pay particular attention to hardware. Um, all the way around is important, but these four front screws on a generation one airplane are very important because they're not captive to the cowling like the rest and uh, if they're not put in uh, you will have problems on the way home uh, but check your hardware um, and also anytime the cowling has been removed the landing light's been disconnected so far better to find out now that it wasn't hooked up than, than later on on your way home once again paying attention to anything that's been a part um, hardware and uh, fairings are important. So uh, take a look at any hardware on the aircraft. Um, any gaps on fairings now is a great time to take care of that. And don't be afraid to ask somebody to come out with a screwdriver and double check something or pull one out of your own toolkit. Primary flight controls get a lot of attention on a pre-flight as they should, uh, but make sure you're checking hardware as well, especially if, uh, if a primary flight control has been removed or you think it may have. Uh, during maintenance. So we're checking attachment points and especially on the ailerons on a Cirrus we're checking this bolt which uh, goes vertically from the bottom side. Not only the bolt itself which is attaches to the control rod which moves the aileron but uh, the safety wire attaching the bolt. Make sure they're both there otherwise the bolt would likely rattle loose and, and fall out. Any way you look at it post maintenance pre-flights are a great time to do a more thorough version of a normal pre-flight on your Cirrus. Having been on both sides of this, uh, it's far easier to solve problems while the airplane is at the maintenance facility than that late night call after you get your airplane home and push it in your hangar. So take some time, don't be afraid to work through with your maintenance provider the work that was done and what effect it might have on the airplane. Don't be afraid to do a local test flight, come back and look it over. So here's hoping that your maintenance events are rare, inexpensive, and most importantly, safe. Thanks for watching. I hope that helped. I'm Shane Vandevoort. I hope to see you on the forums or better yet at the next CPPP.